Hello and good morning everyone. My name is Anna Hersam and I am the owner of Craftbox. Welcome to our very, very first Craftbox TV show. I'm so excited to have you here. I hope you can hear me, you can see me all right. Please give us some feedback if you can. If you are watching through YouTube, you can watch um, through the chat. Uh, you can chat to us through the chat. But um, yeah, it's lovely to have you here and I am so, so excited to welcome you to my craft room. Um, this is my craft room. Um, and um, I wish it was always so tidy, but it is not always so tidy. Um, we also have a very cute office cat. So if you hear some noises from a little cat, then um, you will know it's a cat. So welcome and very, very warm, warm welcome once again. So what are we going to do today? Today, I'm going to show you some of the very, very exciting products we have new in our store. But more than anything, I am going to do a demo for you. And I'm going to do a beautiful mixed media piece. And this show is all about mixed media. We're going to be about 35 minutes to 40, 35 to 45 minutes. And, uh, and I hope you enjoy your time with me today. I'm on my own, so I'm going to have to switch the camera views. Um, but uh, tomorrow, I have very, very exciting guests here with me, Rosella and Lizzie uh, from Crafting Together and um, they are going to be crafting together and they are going to be crafting with me from 10 o'clock tomorrow morning so please join us tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock we will be showing you different shows at 10 11 and 12 um, so I hope I can see you there all right so let me show you what's new and let me show you some of the exciting products we have and then I will start crafting with those products if you are watching on craftbox.tv you are going to see all the products listed at the very bottom um, of the page so please scroll down there right after the uh, picture of Lizzie and Rosella and you are going to see all the products or at least majority of the products I'm going to be using so I hope that's a useful feature as well all right, so um, Prima has just released a bunch of really, really lovely new molds. So I'm going to show you these. I have a large stack of them. They are on back order from Prima, so they are going to be on our website very soon. So we have some of these and these are the Flourish um, molds. We have some of these and they look pretty much like that. And then we have some lovely tags and tabs. Okay, and some other lovely molds. These are the nautical ones. Not like naughty, but nautical. Um, and then we have some flower molds. Some more flower molds. And some more tags and uh, labels. And then some floral um, molds as well and i'm going to be crafting with them today as well and specifically with the keyhole one so i'm going to show you this one um, which is like a lovely keyhole mold by prima and iron orchid designs okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to switch it straight over to the overhead camera and we're going to keep crafting all right here we go All right, so I'm my own producer today, so bear with me as well. All right, so what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be doing a little uh, mixed media piece, which looks like this. And what I'm, the products I'm going to be using, I am going to be using some of the um, pieces from Iron Orchid Design Mold. And the reason why I have the keyhole mold out um, is because I've used it to cast um, some of the embellishments I am going to be using so these are the embellishments I think they're absolutely beautiful and I did a little de demo on Friday um, showing how to use these so I hope that that was useful but if not I'm sure there will be will be doing some other uh, resin casting uh, shows for you as well all right so um, that's what I've used before and I'm going to use this, I think this is more or less four by six um, size little canvas. Um, and I'm going to be doing a little little um, mixed media piece for you with that. So the very first thing I used was the brand new lovely snip art um, 
this is about stencil. These stencils are currently uh, being made for us, so by a lovely lady at Snipart. Craftbox is an exclusive distributor of uh, Snipart products in UK. So if you are after these, please subscribe to our newsletter just on the top of the page through which you're viewing this. If you are viewing through our website, there's a little newsletter, half circle. So please subscribe to our newsletter. We do not spam you too much. <laughs> we are just sending useful information and some exciting news about, for example, so for example, Craftbox TV. So I'm going to be using this stencil and I'm going to cover majority of this canvas with this stencil. And uh, the texture paste I'm using is somewhat close here. I'm going to be using the texture paste, the uh, white sand by Prima. So I'm just going to scoop a little bit on my tool, okay, and pop that all over the stencil. This is a really, really gritty um, medium, and it's also resisting um, some of the colour. So it's got, it gives you some quite unique effects, really. That just went everywhere. We did record some shows with Lizzie and Rosella recently, and uh, we had a bit of a funny glue explosion. So that was hilarious. I'm sure you're going to going to see it um, at some point. <clears throat> so I'm just gently applying. Here we go. I'm just going to do a little bit uneven one here, but I do have one that I prepared before. That paste dries a bit slow, so I have prepared one way beforehand. And it's nice and dry now, so we can just go on and keep using it. And get creative. And by the way, I'm hope, I hope you have an amazing day today. It is Monday morning. I'm sure many of you went to work this morning, but if you are watching or if we are able to watch thank you so much we, we are going to have this show on replay as well so don't worry if you are missing this out it will be uh, available to you to watch later right so what i would normally do obviously i would give it a zap with a um with a heat gun but i already prepared one in advance just not to bore you with all this and this is the piece i've prepared before um, as you can see, I've applied the texture paste quite similarly, and uh, it is just now very, very dry. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of gesso. And I'm going to add it to my canvas and cover this piece all over. I could probably do it with a different brush. Okay. The reason why I'm putting gesso on top of that texture paste is because I'm going to be adding different uh, different pigments and I really want to make sure that um, I do have a surface which will um, accept those pigments, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. And what we're going to do, the very first thing we're going to do right after that is obviously zip it, zap it with a heat gun. Okay. I'm probably just going to cover the texture paste more than the actual canvas because canvas has already been pre-gessoed. Good morning. We have a few people on the chat today. Um, if you are watching through YouTube, thank you. Um, if you are watching through the, through the website, um, then um, yeah, then you won't be able to see the chat. But we have we are going to have a chat integrated for tomorrow's show with Lizzie and Rosella. So you are going to have everything on a one on one page, which is very exciting. And you will be able to ask those two questions. And um, and I will relay some of the questions to those two wonderful ladies um, who will be crafting together tomorrow on Crashbox TV. All very, very exciting. OK. All right. So I'm just giving this a good zap with a heat gun, just want it nice and dry because I am going to be adding some pigments. As you can see, I've got the Fran Garcia Memory hardware pigments here, um, specifically in three in three colours. There is one more, there's like pink colour as well. They are available on our website. Again, if you are watching through craftbox.tv at the very bottom, um, it is worth uh, going to there and then having a look at um, what we're showing today because um, either some or majority of the products are being shown um, at the very bottom as part of the TV collection. So that should be dry now. 
Okay, so that part is done. And uh, what I'm going to be putting on top is um, another snip art cutout. What I have used was snip art um, stencil, but now I'm going to use a snip art cutout, um, which is in exactly the same design. And I'm going to be offsetting it a little bit and putting it around here. I just want to make sure that it's all beautifully covered with this gorgeous design. And to adhere this, I am going to be using uh, my glossy accent. I do pour my glossy accents in a little squeezy bottle. There may be a, a handful of them left on the website. If not, we are going to have more, but this is a non-clog uh, little squeezy bottle, which is very soft and it's very gentle on your hands. I do actually have arthritis in my hands, so I can't squeeze things too hard, but this is absolutely fantastic. And it's got a little silicone cap. The cap is not plastic, it is silicone. So it does really um, uh, make sure that nothing is going to dry out. Okay, so that should be okay. I'm just I just put it in some key points just to make sure that this is going to get caught. And here we go. That is pretty much now adhered. Okay, so now um, I am going to be using some of the products uh, from our brand new box, which is going, going to be shipping around early to mid-January. So if you absolutely do not want to see what's in that box, then please close your eyes. But if you are interested to see what's in January craft box, um, then I am going to be using some of the products. Not too many, don't worry. Our customers do not really like to know particularly what's in the products, uh, sorry, what's in the boxes. So, um, so I'm going to make sure that I'll keep a, lo a, lo a lot of it a secret. But before we go into that, I am going to, sh to show you a project I have created for the January craft box. And uh, this is the project that um, showcases quite a lot of the products and some of them I'll be using today as well. So if you have seen this already, then you pretty much should be safe. But I do hope you like it. I am quite proud of particularly of this one. So I hope that is something you like. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I did mention that I'm going to be using some of the um, pieces from uh, the mold that I've cast. I've cast it, I've cast, I think cast is a past tense. So I am going to be using some of these and I am a big fan of distressing these and really changing the look of it. And I do really like to make sure that um, it really matches my piece. So the very first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take some gesso. And if you have been watching some of the streams I've been doing in the past, you probably are aware of um, how I do this, but um, it is one of my absolute favorite techniques and I have been teaching this in my workshops as well. So I'm going to take a little bit of plastic and then cover all this in gesso. Okay. So I'm just covering all of that in gesso and I am going to dry this. This resin, by the way, is a fast casting resin. It's, it dries white, it does mix clear, it comes in two parts. Um, and um, you can use any resin you want. You can also use the clay that Prima does recommend to use with their molds. I am a big fan of resin. I just like the fact that it's just dry in just a few minutes. So I'm going to give this a good dry with my heat gun. If you have been watching some of my previous streams, um, you may be aware that um, I've, um, I've just, <laughs> I just got a completely new heat gun, which is actually very, very exciting because I got the uh, low kind of blow um, heat gun um, and it's just definitely less noisy than the other heat guns I have. Absolutely love this. I don't know why I haven't actually obtained it before, but all right. That should be dry, it dries really, really quickly. And uh, now I'm going to use some of the pigments and I will probably actually use the Frank Garcia pigments. And I'm going to take a brush, which just landed right next to here. I'm just going to take a brush and going to use this red pigment from Frank Garcia. And I'm just going to sprinkle it all over my piece, all over that lovely keyhole resin 
and then I'll take some spray give it a mist isn't that absolutely beautiful it just I really like how the um, wet resin sorry wet powder sets in the crevices of that piece and then I can just dry it and it will stay this way okay here we go that's number one we can use some other pieces as well be careful when you pick this up I was just a bit silly there thankfully I didn't burn myself but be careful when you pick them up because they can be quite hot so the next thing I'm going to take is I'm going to also take the green pigment from Frank, Gar Frank Garcia again they are at the bottom of the website if you are watching through the website and I'm going to use some of that pigment as well they come with a little sprinkly sprinkly top sprinkly sprinkly top okay and I'm just going to add a little bit of that pigment around as well mm -hmm. here we go and I'll spray that with water and then have this lovely light green color give it up with my heat gun Oh, don't you just love those effects? They're gorgeous. Okay, that's that. So these two pieces are done. And again, if you don't like to have, um, you know, if you have doubts about the color that embellishment has, or if there, if you would like to change the color, just remember you can always gesso it and you can always change the color. Um, I do. I am a big fan of some specific colours and I think some embellishments should not be distressed but the truth is you can distress pretty much everything so okay so I've got these two embellishments here now ready and I, I'm going to go back to my piece here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere I just smudged a little bit that's fine I'm going to adhere this lovely piece to my canvas somewhere around here and the second thing is I also have this lovely key and again this key is going to be a, to be um, available for you in January craft box so please um, do get it if you would like to get some of those embellishments I will be using so I am going to take my little squeezy bottle make sure you put the cap on I haven't so if this dries now it's gonna be very much my own fault okay so I'm just going to put that lovely keyhole and then put this key. I just really need to apply enough to make sure that it's going to catch. Okay. Another thing I have and I'm going to be using today are two gorgeous flowers. All right. So these flowers again they will be in January craft box but they are absolutely lovely and I am trying to stop myself from using too many flowers don't get me wrong I love flowers and I could craft with flowers all the time but I thought that having flowers which are made from different material than mulberry paper is going to be a good idea so that's that's where I'm going to do and that's where I'm going to use I also have gorgeous charm these tight this tiny they're not tiny massive massive charm um scissor charm it's lovely and I also have that keyhole which is again is absolutely stunning love those charms they're just so rich and um very heavy brass and oh absolutely love them okay so enough talking stop start doing Anna start doing I am going to show you one more thing though I've also got this lovely um sentiment precious memories and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with glossy accents to make it glossy and I'm going to show you that process well when we get there all right so I am going to put the scissors somewhere as well just to adhere them to the surface and once I have everything adhered then I will decide if I want to give it a low coat of gesso not necessarily covering everything but just to um you know just give it a little bit of interest here and there but we will see that and then i'm thinking of putting this gorgeous flower yeah i'll put this one here 
now you are go I am going to have to put tons of wet glue and again I do just let it dry um, so I just need it to catch so that will be fine and then we obviously also I need to keep in mind that my sentiment is going to have to go somewhere so that will probably go there all right so carrying on with embellishment this piece, embellishing this piece I think I could do really well with putting this lovely charm somewhere at the bottom right between one keyhole and another one and then I'll make sure that it will all catch okay and then all right and then another thing that you will find in your January craft box uh, is going to be this lovely linen printed ribbon it is absolutely gorgeous and it's just so well printed um, and um, I'm, I'm a big fan already and it's really wide and it will come in um, two designs there will be either one or another design in the box so I am going to fold it nicely and just going to put a little bit of glue and I'm just going to make it an embellishment an embellishment on its own so I'm just going to cut it here and that will probably go just right underneath my flower just to add a little bit of interest our office cat decided that he now wants to have a bit of a crazy time so if you hear funny noises you know what that is Another thing I have around here are Druzy stones. Druzy stones are some of my absolute favourite, favourite embellishments. Um, and then I am going to um, add them here as well. These are in rose gold. They're also called champagne. They are going to be added to our website very soon. So keep an eye on this. If you have any doubts or if you don't know exactly you know, how to get things, just subscribe to our newsletter. We are showing you products now and again. So... Um, through the newsletter so I am going to um, so I think it's a good idea to subscribe to the newsletter all right so I've just added a little bit of a um, rose gold beautiful druzy stone um, to my piece and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this uh, beautiful vintage ivory color because I just really want this piece to be very subtle um, and you know I don't want this to be too kind of overwhelming. So with this uh, I, I'm going to take a little release paper. I've got proper crafty inky fingers now which is fine because that's what it's all about isn't it. Okay and I'm just going to tap a little bit. Actually I'm going to tap a little bit on my surface here okay and I'm just going to sprinkle this around my embellishments and this will just fall in crevices and when I water this are we going to see this lovely cream shade so I just want this in specific places obviously it would be best if I wanted to keep it on metal embellishments I would need to gesso this um, but we will see how it holds without oh that's lovely Okay, it gives this it you get you're getting this vintage type of look, a bit aged, and I think that's absolutely stunning. Alright. Just gonna give it a good dry with my heat gun. Thankfully this actually dries super super quickly. Okay. That's that. If I wanted to give it a little bit of a darker look, which I might actually do in just a few places, I, st I still want this to be a really subtle one, then I would use my um, primary elements by Color Art, Color Arte, as I tend to say, probably incredibly incorrectly. Um, but I tend to use this pigment, and this one is in autumn, autumn Leaf, ever so popular and ever so lovely. It was featured in our limited edition box, but I am just going to use a little bit of that pigment just in those places where normally sun would hit it sorry sun would not hit it that much so it normally would be a little bit darker so I am just going to sprinkle it um, in between the charms and in between the embellishments and that would just give us gives us this that would just give us this, this gradient effect Oh, that's lovely. And it's really lovely. Um, you get this really lovely blend of different colours and different pigments. 
I'm going to zoom in in a second so you can see exactly what I've done here. And if that area gets too dark, don't worry because you can always add some more gesso and just make sure that you're just going to highlight the right areas on your piece. Do you know what? I'm just a little bit in love with my heat gun. I think it's amazing. And I know that's a silly thing to say, but I only just discovered these low kind of blow, <laughs> low blow <laughs> heat guns. And I just, I absolutely love them. But like with every, every heat gun, you just need to be very careful not to burn yourself. And I am prone to, uh, to injuries uh, when it comes to my line of work. Okay, especially when it comes to metal embellishments. So got to be careful with that. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit more of the Fran Garcia Ivory Pigment and sprinkle it all over my piece and then add a little bit more because I think this will just look absolutely awesome. All right. Okay, so just adding that, giving it a little spritz again, and here we go with our lovely vintage look. And I keep adding, keep putting those druzies in my little powder, which is fine. We can always just wash them off. That's plastic. It doesn't really matter. For the most part, I'm going to be leaving this lovely um, mandala type of uh, look on the snip art cutout as it is, apart from obviously this um, spritz of water and a sprinkle of um, Fran Garcia pigment. So I'm just going to add this and give it a good dry. All right. Get that one nice and dry. Someone just asked me, uh, is this a Tim one? <laughs> um, I think some of the craft boxes know very well my love for Tim Holtz and for his, um, for his um, products. Okay, here we go. So that's what I've done with this piece. And then on the very top here, I am going to be putting this Precious Memories um, sentiment. I am going to add a little bit of a dimensional adhesive probably at the bottom here. So I will add that in just a second. But before that happens, I am going to put a little bit of um, microbeads around here. The reason why is just, I just need to make this a little bit um, darker, I think. So I know I'm kind of changing my uh, changing my mind, but you know how it is in crafting. Um, we do we we'll need to do what makes our piece look best. So with this in mind, I am going to take some gloss. I am going to take some gloss medium and I'm going to place it on my mat here. Just like that. And then on that gloss medium, I am going to pour some of my microbeads. Some of the gold microbeads which went absolutely everywhere, but hey. That's part of the fun, catching all the microbeads. And I'm going to add some of that paste with the microbeads in on my um, mandala. So that paste is going to dry clear. And then eventually I'm going to have all the microbeads visible, visible. But just to make this process a little bit quicker, I'm just going to put a little bit cobweb of glossy accents and sprinkle. There will be some very heavy um, cleaning afterwards. And I've sprinkled a bunch of microbeads on the very top. And I actually really love the effect. Again, these, these particular microbeads are actually real gold plated. They're absolutely stunning and they are going to be in January craft box as well. So that's exciting. And now my sentiment is just a little bit more visible, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, so I'm going to find the right spot for it to um, adhere. So I'll probably put it here. And then again, I need to put absolute tons of adhesive around this space here. And then I'll put Tons of adhesive here and I'll bend this um, sentiment to make sure that it will catch. It will probably take a moment or two, so um, I am going to have to leave it alone and let it dry for a while. Okay. 
so on both sides this will dry and here is my piece that I have created with stuff you have on our website with products you have on our website and also with um, January craft box just to give you a little bit of sneak peek of all the lovely embellishments you will be able to uh, to have in your box okay well I hope you uh, enjoyed this little demonstration um, and just um, if you can bear with me just one second so I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and um, thank you so much for watching this very first show from Craftbox TV. It was an absolute pleasure having you here. Just to remind you, uh, we are going to be broadcasting as often as we can and you can always view us on craftbox.tv um, and we are, going to have, we are going to have tons of demonstration, lots of lots of inspiration and um, some field trips as well. For example, this weekend I went to see Mandy from Keep On Crafting in Bury St Edmunds um, and I have looked around her store and I have um, commented on some lovely products she has she actually is stocking some of the craft box products which is super exciting and Mandy told us all about um, her experience of owning her own craft shops or her own craft shop so if you are interested in that it will be airing at some point possibly this week um, but keep an eye on our schedule tomorrow we have two most exciting guests we have Lizzie and Rosella crafting together um, and they will be here with us live from 10 o'clock um, and they will be crafting I'll be crafting with Lizzie at 10 um, and then Lizzie and Rosella will be crafting together at 12 o'clock so I can't wait to uh, produce the show for you and I can't wait to chat with you because I will be also moderating the chat and you'll be able to view um, you'll be able to chat to uh, other crafters and also to um, talk to those two lovely ladies and I'll be relaying your questions so super super exciting day tomorrow um, thank you once again for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.